and the focus of our research is on um, engineering high temperature materials. Right. So in particular, we work with ultra high temperature ceramics, composites, and coatings. So the, these were very uh, early preliminary results. Um, and we have other samples that have shown even better uh, oxidation protection for the carbon-carbon substrate mm -hmm. that we're currently working on and we're going to be testing at the National Solar Thermal uh, Test Facility at Sandia Labs. For me as an outside uh, researcher in a non-government lab, this test sample would cost me more than $40,000 to test. Pour it, in, pour it in the dye, but a lot goes into making this powder before we actually fill it into the dye. Mm -hmm. Right now we're aligning the die punch assembly with the powder in it so that it makes contact with the spacers and the knee electrode. This is what's inside the furnace right now and so these punches are going to get really bright and then this will start to warm up and then this will obviously get as bright as the punches. Yeah, the type of furnace we have in our laboratory is um, it's called a spark plasma sintering furnace and it is unique in the sense that conventional ceramic processing uses a furnace that heats up the material from the outside. So if your sample sitting inside and the radiant heating basically heats the material. Mm -hmm. The difference between our furnace is that it's rather novel to the field of ceramic processing still mm -hmm. um, in, two t in 2010 because what it does is it uses a DC current that pulses through the, through the material and consolidates it in a matter of minutes. So the advantage of uh, spark plasma sintering is that we can basically retain that structure instantly mm -hmm. and limit all of these uh, grain growth that you would see in a normal, in a conventionally processed ceramic. Well,